Howdy folks, and welcome back to World of Tanks with the Mighty Jingles, and this video is all about this god-awful map, Highway, and why it is badly in need of revising. Thankfully, Wargaming are revising it in patch 8.11, when the game actually becomes winnable if you start from the south, thanks to the changes that they've implemented to this map. At the moment, however, until patch 8.11 arrives, if you start from the south on Highway, You've got two hopes of winning this game, No Hope and Bob Hope, and unfortunately Bob Hope is busy playing golf. And he's dead. Now the problems with this map, and by the way I have done a patch 8.11 map revisions uh, video, so if you want to see what this game is going to look like on this map after the patch rolls out, uh, link in the video description down below to the other video. But you've got two main problems if you start from the south on this map. Um, the problem that you're going to see are heavies discovering as they try to push the way into the town along the south is that, well, first of all they have to drive uphill and second they have to do it across an open field and if the enemy team is even vaguely competent they will get into the town because they can drive along straight roads into the town and they have cover all the way down while they do it. With tank destroyers or snipe, whatever, whatever kind of sniping vehicles or work best on the ridgeline, shooting you as you drive up the road. If you come up this side, well, it's much more friendly for medium tanks. So myself and circumflexes in this T-54 coming up here to beat off the enemy mediums and fast heavies, or at least try. But the thing is, even if you win this corner of the map, where are you going to go? Because to get from here to the enemy base, you have to cross a massive open field with clear lines of fire from all the tank destroyers who are going to be infesting that really, really steep ridge opposite. All you can do on this side of the map is defend. You, you cannot really win from this side. Whereas the enemy team, if these guys that we're facing off against beat us and win this corner, they've got all sorts of natural terrain cover that they can exploit to get into our base. And as you can see, they, they've all, they're already here by the time we get here. Now at the moment, the only advantage that we have on this spot is that we're out of view range of most of the tank destroyers that are going to be on the opposite ridge. But the second we try to push forward from here, we're doomed. So the team starting from the south, coming up to this side of the map, all you can do here is defend. WZ11114s are very, very tough from the front end. I've hit that guy twice now and failed to do any damage. And to be brutally honest, there are far too many of us here. And there's a rhyme attack. Okay, now I'm in the view range of the tank destroyers on the opposite ridge. There go my tracks. Rheumatel balls have hit me. And you've got to love... <laughs> Look at this. Enemy T-30 is complaining that he has a useless team. We still haven't got anybody into the town down in the south. Now, our team were not bad. I mean, we've killed three of them. And they're still fighting to get into the buildings down there in the southeast corner. Now we've defended this side. Well, oh, <laughs> the guy in the WZ111, he only came this way because he knew we were going to be there. He came down here to kill me in Circon. <laughs> yeah, I get that a lot. Well, anyway, um, advancing across that open field, we know there's a Rheumatel Ballsick at least on the ridgeline guarding the enemy base. We'll, we'll get cut to ribbons if we try to push across that field. So now all we can do is head over to the other end of the map 
an attempt to reinforce failure. That T-30 on the enemy team is really, really raging at his team. But they don't need to move. They do not need to move from there. They have all the advantages. All they have to do is hold on. So, and now, because there's absolutely no way I'm advancing across that field to the north to try to get into the enemy base, it looks like Sircon might be making a go of it. We'll see what happens to him. Now I'm coming back to try to help the rest of my team get off that field and into the town. You, you cannot win this game if you start from the south and you get stuck and pinned down on this field. I just need to get close enough. Oh, that's not looking good. Rocket. Right, okay, finally. These guys are now in my view range. Unfortunately, these guys are just at the limit of my gun elevation. I'll just put one into the T-30. It was just too slow getting back. The heavies that we had on our team that advanced up across this field and fought it out on the corner did a fantastic job. The odds were just stacked against them. Now unfortunately, well what do you think my chances are? T-34 is coming for me. Artillery's ranging on me. Yep. Sircon's dead. That's what happens to medium tanks that try to rush across that field to the north. Jedi's down here trying to back me up, but now we're defending. <laughs> The odds are very, very definitely stacked against us here. So I'm on 62 health. <laughs> Look at this. Yag Panther is totally YOLOing. Oh, all right. Jedi finishes him off. 1375 behind us. Jedi finishes him off. Up in front of us, we've got a WZ-111, a 452A, and a T-30, oh, and an IS-8. The team tried to push into the town, it just wasn't happening. The enemy team weren't particularly good, they just did what you do to win this game. Start from the north and move into the town. It's as simple as that. It is really not difficult. And there we go. And somebody really seems to have rustled that T-30's jimmies. <laughs> uh, artillery tried to hit me, but you, you have to keep moving. Um, it was actually quite a strong position to be in, in a Centurion 7-1, but it was on the back foot that entire game. Uh, it was only a matter of time. Started from the south, defended against the enemy tank rush from the north, came back. We'd already lost at that point. So, yeah, 3,000 damage done, 5 kills. Unfortunately, I'm on highway, and I start from the south, and it is never going to be enough. This map is ridiculously one-sided. Here we go. Easy win. Started on the north. It's a tier 6 game. Uh, I'm playing with circumflexes. He's in his Cromwell. I'm in my gun motor carriage, 36 Jackson. Let's watch how this one develops. Spoiler, we win. Of course we win, we started on the north. Your team has to suck massive amounts. And I don't just mean your team has to suck, I mean your team has to be 
50% bots in order to lose this map if you start from the north. And we're going to show you why. Zircon wasted no time zooming down, right down to the bottom end of the city in his Cromwell. And we're going to take advantage of that. KV-1S rushing down there as well at full speed. Even got a KV-2 charging down there. There we go, Hellcat. Zircon's already hit him once. Fastest tank on the enemy team. And even he cannot get into the town in time. And now, he's stuck in the middle of an open field. Along with an M6, 3001P, and they start, they start taking hits. And they start panicking. The guys who take the hits start backing off. guys that try to push just get slaughtered and the team have done exactly you know the tactics are not difficult just drive into the town and you win simple as that oh there's the hellcat don't really have a shot at him i should probably push up now oh there we go they're still trying to push kv1 kv1s 3601h all the heavies here they come the enemy team are doing the best they can. They're trying to get up this hill. It's just a shooting gallery. I'm just firing as fast as the gun reloads. Can't miss. And the enemy team are... You know, they're not doing anything wrong. They just started from the south, so they lost. They're getting cut to ribbons. We've only lost one tier 5 medium. They've lost half their team. And this is not a challenge for me. It's a shooting gallery. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. Sherman down there seems to have had enough of the slaughter. We've still only lost one tank. We're winning 11-1. And we're not winning 11-1 because we're any good. Sorry, 12-1. I mean, the team did the right thing. It moved down into the town, the tank destroyers camped the ridge, and just slaughtered the opposition. The enemy team <laughs> They didn't do anything wrong. You just cannot win this map if you start from the south. And the guys that start from the north are even vaguely competent. I did more than double the damage that Circumplexes did in that game, but he got more than double my XP because of all that spotting from the corner. Alright then, Jingles. So, you know, we've seen what a mostly competent team can do if they start from the north here on highway. What about if your team completely fails to capitalise on the massive advantages that starting from the north offers you? What if your team gives the enemy team all the time in the world to get into the town? Fair enough. Challenge accepted. It's me and Quickie Baby, uh, both in Yank Panthers. This was very recent, actually. Um, as I'm recording this, this was actually on last night's live stream. And I have no idea what that T-3485 is doing. I think he might be a bot. <laughs> uh, and we seem to have a fan. The Hellcat on the enemy team. He's not going to be our biggest fan in a minute. 
So me and Quickie Baby were both in Yag Panthers, and yeah, we're top tier. Oh, there he is. <laughs> yes, we're top tier tank destroyers. Yeah. I don't think he's our fan anymore. <laughs> And look at the team. There's, there's nobody in the town. We've got a T-34-85 who's just stopped. There's nobody spotting down there. Enemy team could already be in the town. Ooh, you lo oh, cut your baby, set him on fire. E25 finishes him off. So I've only scored one hit so far. 385 damage done. Oh, the Hellcat that we killed apparently still is our fan. <laughs> okay, well that's nice. And the team are still only just making it into the town. We've got no spots other than that Hellcat at the beginning anybody on the enemy team making their way up to that bottom corner. Quickie Baby's already abandoned his position and he's moved off closer. And there they are. They've got an IS in the town already. And that's just what we've spotted. There's a T-3485 down there as well. There we go. I couldn't see the outline of the tank, but I know I can shoot through a brick wall, and we'll finish him off. And I've been spotted, so... Oh! Angled just in time there. Not sure what hit me. Possibly the enemy AT-7. T-34-85 is still down there. He's completely out of them, but he's going to die. Northwest corner of the map. Nobody's seen anything up there other than a T21. Although I must admit, I haven't really been watching that side of the map. Uh, there's a number of dead tanks that could have been killed up there. In fact, probably were. Oh, there's a KV-1. Pretty sure that hit. I guess we'll soon find out when he pops up again. Yes, unfortunately. You left it too little and too late and too slow, and yep, I did hit that KV-1. See if I can do it again. And it turns out I can. Sherman's backing off, and he's doomed now. He's caught in the middle of that open field. I mean, I can't hit him from here. He's on the other side of the embankment. But there, that was just a matter of time. The team took forever to get into the town. And we won anyway. The sooner they change this map, the better. It is just so ridiculously one-sided at the moment. And if you've seen my uh, patch 8.11 map changes video, you'll know that they have, in fact, changed this map. And it's a lot less one-sided. Oh, been spotted again. Yeah, don't really care at this stage. What's going to be shooting at me? Mm. Oh, wow, I took a hit from a KV-2 and I didn't die instantly. <laughs> he damaged my tracks, he failed to penetrate, that was splash damage. Can you take my Twitch bands off your stream? There's the KV-2. Cottontail pandas. I, I don't have a stream. <laughs> He's so excited. His, his friend in the KV-2 shot. Hmm, AT-7. 510 metres away. I've got three rounds of high explosive. He's just killed our T-34-85. I don't know if these are penetrating. We need, we need to spot him again. Their t 29s just killed our IS. There he is. Hmm, maybe I did penetrate. Ah, oh, God, I'm sick of bouncing off these things. It's too far away for me to aim for weak spots. 
So I'm going to load high explosives. I've got, I've got three rounds of high explosives. Oh, and now he gives me his sign. Typical. Come on, one more. One more. And it bounces when he's on 64 health. High explosive will always explode when it hits the target. Yeah, right. Yeah, got him. T-49 and the SU-8, that's all they've got left. And our team was not that good. Oh, somebody spotted me. Probably the T-49. There he is. Yeah, it was him. He's going to be sorry he's found me. And he's gone. There we go. Game over. Team wasn't that good. Easy win anyway. But it's not all bad news because, as I've mentioned, Wargaming have done a massive overhaul of this map for patch 8.11 and it really couldn't come soon enough. And this isn't the only map that's getting the cosmetic treatment. Um, I do have a patch 8.11 map changes video up. Link in the video description if you have not yet seen what they're doing to this map to make it challenging for both teams as it should have been in the first place. As always folks, take care on that battlefield and I'll catch you next time.